all right welcome back to another video guys it's your girl Oshin. so what i want to say to you guys is hello hello everybody welcome back to typical tyrell tv you know i'm working on the talent guys <laughs> but nonetheless it's been a while since i've greeted everybody on typical tyrell tv community and today we're going to be talking about some interesting topic that we are seeing in the track world but guys first and foremost i must say happy holidays to everybody i hope everybody's enjoying their food cake sorrel and all of the good food them remember the reason for the season is christ and to really enjoy yourselves all right family time but today i want to say hello to the man himself typical tyrell is in the studio with me and today guys we'll be talking about some exciting things so let's get into it now we understand that our legend Usain Bolt he left the scene in 2017 right after Bolt left the scene Jamaica we all understand that we haven't really had any exciting sprinter as our dearest Bolt nonetheless we want to big up oblique civil because them say one of them don't dash away the man went to the world championships in Eugene, Oregon and he emerged fourth this year and last year. So we want to big up Oblique Civil for that. But we want to be honest with ourselves guys. Are we seeing any potential for sprinters like Usain Bolt in the 100, 200 and the 4 by one event? Or events rather. Ask yourself that question. Since both left the scene, is there any other sprinter that we see replicating his potentials or even rising to a higher occasion? Now, I don't know about you guys, but I see one known as Kishane Thompson coming on the scene this year. Now guys, Kishane Thompson hasn't been to any major championships yet. However, he was present at the Diamond League circuit and the Jamaica trial. Now at these major events, he was able to run a few sub tens and that to me was interesting, it was amazing. So seeing him in his space and his capacity at those events it's parked an interest to say there is a potential you know to level up and you know be able to get a silver or a gold medal or a bronze medal in the 100 or the 200 event but to really go deeper into this because we want to see men coming back and taking up space in these events you know because you know we, we the jamaican people we are too gifted in these events as men and women to really say we are dilute the thing we need somebody a talent who is going to keep the, the name the flag floating in the air to really say jamaica is here to stay so tonight we're going to invite invite typical Tyrell to really give us more juice on the topic because I know you guys are out there and you're wondering who is going to inherit the bold era you know in this contemporary time who is going to really keep our heads high as Jamaicans in these events typical Tyrell welcome to the studio brethren so tonight I understand the topic about who we're looking you know to really dominate in the 100 200 and 4 by 1 event and is there anybody is there any talent that you have spotted and you think that they can really you know take or fill the capacity in these events to keep our flags in the air as jamaicans or as a country jamaica take it away all right so firstly i just want to say thank you so much Oshin, for being on the channel you know i enjoy sitting down with you and talk about track because track and field is one of the best sports in the world it's my pleasure <laughs> <laughs> all right so on the topic of kishen thompson kishen thompson as i said earlier is an emerging talent and 
I think he's definitely the one to take over for Usain Bolt. I don't think that he's gonna have the charisma and uh, the passion, passion, and and I don't yeah. think he's gonna replicate the performances of Usain Bolt because Usain Bolt is a is an athlete of a lifetime. He's a legend. Call him the... They they would say what? The G-O-A-T? The GOAT? Yeah, the GOAT. The greatest in track and field of all time. Mm -hmm. Right? So, I don't think he's going to be that figure. But what makes you think that Kishane Thompson has what it takes to really, you know, dominate and keep Jamaica on the podium in these events? I mean, last season, Mm -hmm. 2023, early on in the year, uh, we saw him Mm -hmm. came... In the one of the meters at the Jamaica trials, and he ran mm-hmm. a surprising sub 10. Mm-hmm. Everyone was shocked, right? He shot mm-hmm. the world and he ran 9.91 at the trials. And that's phenomenal, don't get me wrong. But it is always said that you know your environment has a lot to do with you because who is nurturing you will you know have a big part in who you become not just in the track world but even as an individual so talk to me who are some of the people behind his career the great man himself steve francis Whoa. at the mvp i you know what steve francis does but with Stephen, athletes Stephen francis you know in in my book so if i'm if i'm recalling right um, was also Elaine and Shelly and Fraser Price coach. So we see where he is, you know, a great figure to stand behind someone who really wants to propel in their track career. But what 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 is the difference or what are you seeing that he's really, you know, so far, we know that Kishen Thompson is not fully out there yet, but based on what we're seeing now, how is Stephen Francis really, you know, contributing to the development of this? this um runner come to think of it um that's a very good question you know after kishane tamsa ran that blistery 9.91 in the 100 meters at the trials he didn't show up for the semi-finals and that was very alarming to the fans because we want to see his talent develop into something beautiful and to help us get back on track at the main side in track and field quite so yes so Subsequently, Steve Francis came in an interview and he explained Kishane Thompson's absence. Mm -hmm. He stated that it was their plan from inception to not allow Kishane to run the semifinals but to show up in the heats. And I think that was a very good idea because Kishane is an injury prone athlete Mm -hmm. and we see where in which he's trying to manage the athlete well in order to get the best out of Kishane Thompson. Wow, and that's that's for me what what you would call sustainability, if you'd ask me, right? But, you know, aside from all that we are seeing now, is there any other thing that you can say to the viewers to say really is, you know, why we're looking out for Kishane Thompson to dominate in these events? Of course. Last season, after he ran that mind-boggling 9.91 at the Jamaica Trials. Mm -hmm. He went in China at the Diamond League circuit and he ran the second fastest time of 2023. And that time has also made him the fastest Jamaican in 2023. No, but Kishina Hangley himself, man. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, that that, that mind-boggling 9.85 definitely was amazing. Right, That, that time would have given him the silver medal in Budapest in the 100 meters final. Wow, that is amazing. So there you go, viewers. We are looking out for Kishen Thompson. I'm so excited because if he could have gone, gotten a silver medal in Budapest, you know, what else can he do? I really believe that there is more, you know, based on what Tyrell explained to us, there is more to come out of Kishen Thompson. And so we want to implore you guys to cheer him on, cheer on the men so we can keep the Jamaican flag up there and keep it going all right so thank you very much Tyrell. i don't know if you have anything else to speak to our viewers on yes of course definitely guys guys just let me know in the comment section if you think kishane thompson is the next sensation and if he can 
deputize for you saying both because really and truly we really in need of some men in track yes, and field to we are dominate. in need of we are in need of them so calling all the men to come forth like kishen thompson um seville all of those great men out there but guys before we go remember to like share and subscribe get the tyrell community out there because tyrell is doing his research and he will keep you all posted thank you guys so much we love you and wish you wishing you guys a merry christmas like a candle we're, we're out, out.